What's going on, everybody? How are we doing today? <laughs> Thanks for coming back to the channel. And if you haven't been here before, I'm Philip. Um, on this channel, I like to talk a lot about tips, tricks. I vlog a lot. I do a lot about videography and a god awful amount of drones. But today, we're actually going to be talking about Photoshop Beta with the new generative fill. Um, it's legit. I've been using it now for about a week. I feel like it's been out, maybe a little bit less. But in case you haven't used it, in case you don't know about it, this program is, or this new release, or this integrated AI technology, AI integrated technology, is just amazing. Um, it's doing some pretty, pretty cool things and it's making my job a lot easier. Now, I do a lot of designing, I'm doing a lot of shooting, and I'm currently working on a piece right now where I've had to script out a piece and I'm trying to put a storyboard together for this. Now I went ahead and I used another, just to save some time, I can sketch it, but you know, I, I wanted to go ahead and do something and say, you know what? What if I have AI do all of this for me? For the most part, I wrote the script and I'm coming up with the ideas, but what if to save some time, let's say I incorporate some AI to save some time. And I went ahead and did so, and I used Midjourney to come up with a storyboard um, card, just one frame from a storyboard, just to see how if it can accomplish my goal. And I think I put a simple input like mountain biker riding down a dark trail alone with nobody for miles, sketchy, sketchy or hand sketch kind of deal, something along these lines. And I'm about to show you what it came up with. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I'll show you a little bit about Photoshop's new beta and with the generative fill and how to utilize some of that for your advantage. Still, guys, don't think it's taking our jobs. It's not. AI is definitely not taking our jobs. AI still needs input. As a creative, your idea matters, your concept, your thought process, your imagination is what matters here. The fact that AI can help you use its tools to make that come to life faster is, is a win-win in my book. Only because I get to be faster for my client. I get to maybe even in some cases deliver a better product because I couldn't have done it. You know, so utilize these, they're tools. I was gonna tell a joke right there, but we'll just go ahead and leave it out. It was funny. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. I've tried to record this thing like three or four times, but I've always got off on tangents. So we're just going to stick to the books here. Let's, let's go ahead and make sure we get this in. So back to generative AI with Photoshop beta. We're going to go ahead and dive right in. Stick around. Let's go ahead and dive in and see what we can go ahead and do with this photo that I've gone ahead and generated with Majority. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to be a subscriber and come over here to the apps tab. Come down here to beta apps. I've already gone ahead and installed it, so we're just gonna go ahead and open up Photoshop beta and get that rocking and rolling. And here's the photo. So as you know, or if you don't know, when you download from Midjourney, it's only at 72 DPI. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase this to bring up my DPI. It doesn't necessarily increase the resolution, but it definitely gives me more pixels to work with and definitely gives, um, Adobe more pixels to work with. Although I really don't think it matters. I could have probably done this without it. But first thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and marquee this out to get rid of, cause I like what it did here if I was go ahead and showing this as a, um, uh, a storyboard, but I wanna go ahead and actually generate more scene to this. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm gonna go ahead and change the crop size of this. So I think I want him right there. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and let's actually change it as a square, actually. So let's go ahead and change this crop size. I'm gonna put him right about here. I'm gonna hit enter and then I'm gonna come over here to my marquee tool and I'm going to grab this portion of the image, okay? And then what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit inverse. So this way it selects the entirety of the canvas. And then I'm just gonna come down here and hit generative fill and then generate. 
Now this is actually pretty quick and it will come up with a really cool scene. Tell me what you think about this in the comments. I actually love it. Now I'm kind of interested what's going on and you know in the sides over here, is there any way we can, oh, yes we can because it's smart. So once again, I'm gonna go ahead and hit crop. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this a panoramic landscape, but I still kind of want him in that lower right one third. I'm gonna go ahead and select the image here. Now what I like to do is I like to allow a little bit of a bleed and then I feather that bleed, this little bleed here on the edges. And as you can see, I have my feather set to seven. So I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna go ahead and once again, invert that, get this all in frame for you guys. And I'm just gonna hit generate a fill and then generate once again. Like I said, this doesn't take very long. It's actually really quick. Um, there is a little bit of rendering time on there, but once again, this is still just first generation. It's learning as it goes. So what's really cool is it, wow. Guys, what do you think? That's beautiful. And what's really cool is it gives you other options of what that could look like. Um, I'm a toss up between this one and this one. I like this one because it has the really dark foreground. Um, and it kind of makes you hone into this, whereas this other one I like has this other light portion over here, which kind of distracts my eye and the kind of feel I'm gonna be having for the shot. Actually, the kind of feel I'm gonna be having for the shot is a little more airy and open because I don't want it to seem dark and gloomy, but I do really like this dark and gloomy. So I'm gonna go ahead and save these down and export both of these because they're both really legit. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So tell me guys in the comments, what do you think? This is the new Photoshop with generative fill. Um, it's in the beta format. Go ahead and download it today. If you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and drop them in the comments below. But I wanted to make this a really short video for you guys, just to kind of show you the powers of this and how I'm actually utilizing this. So if you're a filmmaker or if you're a, a designer or even somebody coming up with a lookbook for a client, like you could do things like put a shirt on somebody or change their pants to be denim. Um, we'll do more tutorials on that in the future. I've recently just gone ahead and put a race car I shot, I don't know, months ago in downtown Detroit and it generated a whole bunch of photos of downtown Detroit. I've gone ahead and left a link in the description for my Instagram where you could go ahead and find those photos. So once again, guys, thanks for joining in. Be sure to stop back. There's gonna be plenty more content like this coming. And if you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe. Um, and don't forget to hit the little notification bell. Here, I'm gonna make it ding. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna quit being silly. But once again, guys, thanks for stopping in. Hope to see you again. And I hope to see you out in the field shooting someday. Talk to you later. Peace.